Welcome back to the channel, buongiorno, it's Metal Gear and I have a lot to show you today so let's get straight to it. We're here at the OG track Fuji International Speedway in the Group 4 cars. I am starting from 10th in the Lamborghini Huracan so let's get straight to it and as you can see we're into the first corner and I already have lost 10th position to Gnarly Taxi in the Jaguar F-Type. Uh, but I have the run down on the inside towards turn two, but decides to just back out of it. A little bit of a tap on the back there. I was afraid of getting a penalty, but somehow I've managed to escape it. Uh, so we're going to follow him around this long 180 degree right hand corner. And we're coming up very quickly towards him. So we are just going to take it super, super cautious here, going side by side around giving plenty of space, making sure we're not going to get any penalties and lose a bunch of positions on the first lap. So as you can see, we're in the slipstream of the guy ahead and we are going to send it down into the chicane coming from a long way back to make the move stick and look at that, we've scared the Japanese driver and he's hopping around in fear of our lovely overtaking prowess. So we enter Sector 3 here at Fuji, and oh, look at this absolute madness. We have 10 cars battling for position, and uh, the truck is going off to the right, but the McLaren decides he wants to go off to the left. There we go, we're up into 8th place, and now we're in the slipstream of the Aston Martin and the Peugeot ahead of us. And uh, you can see that 5th place there serves a penalty, so we're actually now up into 7th, and... Um, Look at this, we're going to try and split these two cars, get ourselves up into fifth, and here we go, going to jump onto the brakes. The Peugeot outbreaks himself, and uh, we get it done, so that's five positions in one lap, or six positions, because we actually lost that position at the start. But during all that fighting, third and fourth pulled away ahead and so we're going to skip to the final lap now uh, because we couldn't gain any ground on them but you can see here that fourth actually has a penalty I think one second penalty uh, so he'll come up and serve that penalty now slowing him down so the chase is on are we going to catch up to him before we reach the start finish line we're getting closer 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 and no look how close that was so probably only a single car length difference if we hadn't eaten all that kfc maybe uh we would have been a little bit quicker and been able to take fourth but nevertheless fifth place is a good result for the first race of the day uh first race of the week actually so now we're gonna skip over to the second race and see what happens. Uh, this time we're in the McLaren 650S and we're starting in 8th place. Uh, we head down here into turn 1 and what the hell. So usually in motorsport you have instant replay but I think in this case we need a Call of Duty inspired kill cam. So we're gonna ride here on board with the Australian Nozzy 1118 and uh, look at this. He just completely <laughs> murders me and uh, earns a four second penalty for himself so thanks a lot mate cheers good driving so yeah time for race three uh, this time we've jumped over into the Volkswagen Skirocco and uh, we're starting from fifth place we have four Australian drivers ahead of us uh, two of them in the McLarens and uh, we get underway, this time managed to avoid death at the first corner, so we hold on to 5th position, uh, jumping ahead now, you can see 3rd and 4th are battling through this uh, 180 degree right hander, uh, we're going to get up into 4th place momentarily, um, but we give lots of space, let uh, know this is Jester back through, but we are now in his slipstream and we are going to see if we can have a go coming down into the chicane. So we follow him, take the inside line, jump late onto the brakes and we make a clean pass. Uh, so we're gonna quickly jump ahead to lap two, same place on the track, so a little bit confusing and you can see that we go for a little look up the inside of Loopy and he closes the door on us. 
And um, so this driver here is uh, and a, f a fellow YouTuber under the name of Loopy Racing. So you can go check out his videos if you want, or you can stay here, hit subscribe, hit like, and uh, become a follower of this channel. Because as you can see, we are a much fairer racer than Loopy. So we once again have the run down towards the chicane. We're on lap three now. We're going to drift out to the left, but then quickly cut to the inside, go for the move, and he moves across to block us, we make contact, 100% uh, his fault, and uh, for that we get the two second penalty. So thanks a lot Loopy, um, real fair driving, real clean. Uh, so we're serving our penalty here, we're gonna drop from third down into sixth place. And um, yeah, it's just really unfortunate. But that's how it goes sometimes in Gran Turismo, so final lap now. Jumping right towards the end, you can see we close the gap a little bit, but not enough to make any forward progress. And uh, we're going to cross over the line to finish in sixth place. So, final race of the day, once again we are in the Scirocco, once again we're starting in 5th place and all of the usual suspects are starting ahead of us again, we've got Loopy, we've got No, This Is Jester, and uh, so we get through the first corner, once again we avoid death and uh, we're gonna follow the, um, what is it, I think it's an Aston Martin ahead of us, or Jaguar, I think it's the F-Type Jaguar. Uh, so we actually get up alongside him here um, as we're going to run down towards the chicane, but think better of it. He defends the inside line, um, not able to go around the outside on this occasion, so we just tuck in behind him and we're going to follow through here behind the top four. Haven't made any progress here on the first lap, so we'll skip ahead to the second lap and you can see that... Uh, no, this is Jester has actually fallen down into fourth place. So we're gonna have another battle with him once again coming down towards the chicane This is the best overtaking opportunity other than the first corner and a little bit of a late move But we managed to make it through a little bit of side on side contact, but we avoid the penalty so now up into the third lap and um, You can actually see we've gained another position and uh, We're right behind Saber and our old friend loopy racing so Saber and myself have kind of just been moving up through the field. We are now in second and third and following Loopy who is leading. And so Saber is going to come down to the chicane. He goes for the move and once again, look at that, Loopy actually cuts him off. But in this case, he gets pushed out wide and uh, Saber also goes wide. We have a little bit of contact there on the exit of the chicane, but I managed to stay ahead and avoid the penalty. Uh, we skip here to the final lap, and we manage to finally take a victory. Uh, it's been an exciting few races, um, but glad to finally get back onto the winner's board. And uh, yeah, so that was our adventures here at Fuji. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Like I said, uh, hit subscribe, hit like if you enjoyed the videos, and uh, we'll join you again soon.